Hello everyone and welcome to Max's DIY laptop cooler tutorial. For this build, you're going to need three miscellaneous fans from old computers, duct tape or electrical tape, sacrificial old keyboard, need a ton of Mike and Ike's, or an old Mike and Ike's box. That's like a cereal. Step one. On each of the fans, cut off any wire that is not red and black. For example, this, they're normally yellow, but on the big fan over there, it's blue. Also, also take a pair of wire strippers and strip off a few centimeters of wire at the end of each red and black wire on each of the fans. Cut off the USB cable on the sacrificial keyboard. You'll not need this other keyboard part any longer. On the end of the USB that does not have the adapter, take off... Take off all wires except for the red and black wire. Also, a quick note before continuing. Make sure the fans you're using and are planning to connect to a single USB cable are under or equal to one amp. Or actually 0.5 or half an amp. The fan, these two small fans are 0.11 amps, and this big fan is 0.38 amps. Adds up exactly to 0.5. Make sure all of your fans work. You can do this effectively by connecting the USB cable over to like just an iPod charger or like a Samsung charger or something like that. Just plugging it in. Be sure not to touch these wires while they are plugged in. We're going to take our box and we're going to be placing a fan on this side here. This big fan is going to be going in here and then the other fan it's going to be going on the other side of the box, blowing cool air in, and the other fan's going to be taking it out. And the middle fan's going to blow cool air onto my laptop. Tape a Sharpie onto a protractor. This is not at all weird. Also, measure the, measure the diameter of that. Or excuse for a circle with said tool, and cut it out with a razor pen. In order to know where you should place your holes, Put that thing on that and just lightly draw a hole with a sharpie. Take a drill and drill out your four holes. Some Gorilla Tape for the uh, contact points for extra strength. First fan is in. Also, I forgot to mention this while building it, but feed the second fan through there before doing the first step. Cut a little hole in the side of the box to thread the fan through. And then we're going to drill two holes right here to thread the screws through. Here's that done with tape for support. I have to mess around with the flaps a bit to get it going. We're about to screw in the final fan to see. So tape off any wires that could potentially get in the way of the fan spinning. At this point, just literally plug it into the to USB port on your computer, and you're in business. Thank you all for watching. May your computers stay cool, and you viewers stay even cooler.